Dr. Victoria Mosteller tells me that the RSV season in Florida is usually in winter, but now that a lot of vaccinated people are removing their masks, well, she says it's starting to spread more. So you may need to keep these on hand if you're experiencing RSV symptoms. Many years ago, we used to describe RSV as the worst runny nose of your life. RSV stands for respiratory syncytial virus. It comes on like the common cold, but for those over 60 and infants, it can cause lasting health issues. It's damaging to the lungs, increased incidence of asthma in children who have gotten RSV, even if they didn't necessarily have a a propensity to get that, you know, due to genetics or other things. And it can lead to COPD in the older population. It's very contagious. So if you think you have it, you want to stay away from people who are vulnerable. The symptoms include runny nose, loss of appetite, coughing, and a fever. Now, for infants, the symptoms can be a little different. The CDC says look out for irritability, decreased activity, and breathing difficulties. And stay with us on GMJ. We're going to talk about some exciting medical news related to RSV. In Jacksonville, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.